Hello, everyone. Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you? Perfect. So is there any problem with the voice? If there is any problem, I can just change uh, the location or I can use microphone or something else. So if you have any problem, I can fix it. But if there is not, we can continue our class. Is there any? Some people write yes, but I don't understand. It's yes to the first problem or not. Okay, no problem. Thank you so much, Osgur. So, uh, I'm going to share with you this story as we always do in online activities. And I want you to try to understand the meaning of the different phrases. And we're going to check all of them together. Uh, I'm sharing right now. Are you able to see it? Can you see? Okay. So, is there any volunteer who wants to read with me? Actually, as you can see here, we have Susan, we have Nicole, and at the same time, yeah, we have Susan and Nicole. So, is there any volunteer who wants to read? Gul, right? Okay, Gul, you can start with me. You can be either Susan or Nicole. There is no difference. Which do you want to be? Could you please put your microphone, guys? Because there's a sound. Okay. So. Uh, so good, we can start. I'm going to be Susan and it can be Nicole. I'm going to start with the introduction first. It said what? Nicole predicts her election speech. Nicole is running for student body president. She must give a speech next week and she discusses the speech with her mother, as you can see. Okay. But we can hear you, please <laughs> close your microphone, guys. Okay. So I'm going to start with Susan. What's the meaning of here? I think she's gone. You? So, is there any other volunteer who wants to read with me? Because right now I think there is a problem. She cannot. Okay, Besta, you can start. I'm going to be Susan and you can continue with the rest. What's up, Nick? I will be Susan. Am I right? I be Nicole. Nicole. Okay. Yeah. So I start. What's up, Nicole? I pulled an all nighter working on my election speech. No wonder you look like a basket case. Did you finish your speech? Yes, at 6 a.m. That must be a load of your mind. It's not. I. I've got uh, to give the speech tomorrow in front of uh, 1,500 uh, people. Yeah. I'm a nervous wreck. Actually, you can say 1,500 or you can say 1,500. Both of them are true. Next one, just remember the old rule of Tom. Imagine you're odious naked. 
Continue. That's gross. Why would uh, I want to do that? According to conventional wisdom, uh, it will make you less nervous. Only practice will do the trick. Okay, let's hear this speech. Good afternoon, everyone. There are four candidates running for president. You think you have several, several choices. In reality, you have just one choice, me. One choice, me. You can't say that. You'll turn off your audience immediately. It sounds like I have a big hat. I'll say so. Uh, what was your name? Uh, Besta, right? Besta, we can change our yes. situations. You can be Susan right now. I'm going to be Nicole. I'm okay. Sorry, once more. Okay. So it's fine. Okay. What's up, Nicole? I pulled an all nighter working on my election speech. No wonder you look like a basket case. Did you finish your speech? Yes, at 6 a.m. Okay, that must be a lot of your mind. It's not. I've got to give this speech tomorrow in front of 1,500 people. I'm a nervous wreck. Just remember the old rule of thumb. Imagine your audience naked. Naked. That's gross. Why would I want to do that? According to convention, uh, con conventional wisdom, mm -hmm. I'll make you less nervous. It will. It will make you less nervous. Only practice will do the it trick. Makes. Only practice will do the trick. Okay, let's hear the speech. Good afternoon, everyone. There are four candidates running for president. You think you'll have several choices. In reality, you have just one choice, and it's me. So? You, you can't say that. You'll uh, turn off your audience immediately. Immediately? It sounds like I have a big head. I'll say. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much, Beste. You're so, welcome, thank you. Uh, right now, we are going to talk about the meaning of the vocabularies and phrases here, guys. So what do we have? We have what's up. What does it mean? Is there any person who can tell me the meaning of that? Uh, can I say teacher? Yes, of course. Uh, we can use WhatsApp when we uh, introduce in a meeting. Uh, for example, if you have to, uh, if we take two person in a place, and uh, if they have new meeting, and one person says WhatsApp, how are you? It means like, uh, how are you? How is it going? Everything That's, is okay. It's Nihan, right? Nihan Zeren, right? Yes, I am. Yes, yes, yes. Well, that's completely true. So you can say what's up to people to ask how they are, how their life is going on. So you can say what's up, what's going on, how you're doing, what are you doing, how have you been recently, etc. What you have been to recently, etc. So they are all true. Next one, it said what? I pulled an all-nighter working on my election speech. What does it mean? Pull an all nighter. Pull an all nighter working on my electronics. Fatty said working all night. That's completely true. It means not to sleep a week. We have we have not sleep a week. It means I didn't sleep at all and I was working on this project. So to step up online to work on a specific thing. Next one it said no wonder. What does it mean? No wonder. No wonder. Mm -hmm. 
No wonder you look like a basket case. Did you finish your speech? So what, what does it mean? There is no doubt. Well, it can be like a little bit your clothes, but it's not the exact meaning. No wonder basically means uh, it's not surprising then. It's not surprising. No wonder you look like a basket case. What does it mean, basket case? You look like a basket case. What does it mean? Is there any uh, teacher, can we say that, um, for example, if you say uh, she or he likes, uh, seems like basket case because um, it's also happening to her or his, uh, it's also like similarity. Yes, but about here, basket case. no, actually it's not about the similarity of the situation because these are idioms. So you can say basketball case here indicates it is uh, the, hopeless, the hopeless appearance of the person. For example, I said, you look so sad, you look so hopeless, you look so negative, you look so tired. So no wonder it's not surprising that you look so sad or you look so uh, hopeless, you look so tired because you worked all night. And then it say, did you finish your speech? Yes, at 6 a.m. And next one, what do we have? Said, that must be a load of your mind. Load of your mind. What does it mean? That must be a load of your mind. Any idea? How can I read from my telephone? I don't know how to turn it up. Solve the problem, Gun? Uh, well, not solve the problem. It means using your brain a lot. It means using everything, thinking too much. Yes, Vati, it's true. So a load of your mind means thinking a lot, or you can say a relief a relief, I'm writing it in chat, a relief of your mind, it was a relief. For example, we have another example actually, I'm going to read it for you. Finishing her English essay was a load of Nicole's mind, was a load of Nicole's mind. No, it means using your brain a lot. It means get your brain tired. And then what do we have? We have, it's not, I've got to give the speech tomorrow in front of 500 people. I'm a nervous wreck. Nervous wreck, what does it mean? I'm a nervous wreck. Any idea? What does wreck mean here? Uh, yes. it's, uh, can I say, teacher? Sure. Let's say, try. Okay. It means that extremely nervous. Extremely like nervous. Yeah, that's true. Nervous freak, it means being nervous a lot. Or, yeah, a person who feels actually very nervous, very worried. We call that person a nervous freak. For example, my father original always he's a nervous freak because uh he's so stressed person he's always so stressed and he gives a lot of people a lot of stress also so he's a nervous freak next one just remember all all the old rule of thumb what does it mean rule of thumb old rule of thumb Imagine your audience naked. What does it mean, a rule of thumb? Any idea? Gül said about account. 
Yes, a little bit, but not. it's not related to accounting, actually. The rule of thumb, it means think about this basic principle. We have a general rule. So think about that old general rule, actually. For example, in Turkish, I'm not sure, but for example, you have different specific rules for different situations. And uh, always you say it is a fact, it is true. So rule of thumb, it means the facts, the things that always true. Imagine your audience naked and Nicole says, that's gross. What would I do? What would I want to do with that? Why, uh, what, why would I want to do with that? And we have Susan. According to conventional wisdom, what does it mean, conventional wisdom? According to conventional wisdom. Um. Any idea? General thinking. Yes, Alip, you are right. Beste, you are right. General belief. Conventional wisdom, it means according to a lot of people, according to the general belief, uh, it will make you less nervous. Well, that's true. I, I, I'm not sure. I, I've never done that before, but it can work. Uh, next one, only practice will do the trick. Only practice will do the trick. What does it mean, do the trick? Only practice will do the trick. Any idea? No idea. Yes, idea. According to that, I'm going to tell you the meaning of that. So I'm going to tell that. Only practice will do the trick. It means only practice can help you to achieve your, I don't know, desired success, desired goal, desired target. To solve a problem, that can be best. Success, yes, Mustafa, it's true. But conventional, with, uh, sorry, yeah, do the trick. It means help you to get your desire or to achieve your desired goal, desired results, to get the job done. Yes. It means to get the thing you wanted. That's completely true. So let's continue. And then we have, uh, good afternoon, everyone. There are four candidates running for president. Here, running doesn't mean running, actually. Running here means uh, participating, starting uh, to participate in the competition. You think? You have several choices, but in reality, what does it mean, reality? Any meaning? Any idea? Actually, yes, iPhone. Uh, I cannot see your name. It's written iPhone. In truth, yes, that's true. In truth, or in reality, or actually, virtually, yes, all of them are true. These are all right. So, is it what you can say that you'll turn off your audience immediately? What does it mean? Turn off your audience immediately. What does it mean? Close them. Turn off your audience immediately. It means you make them shut down yes no right that can be uh actually turn off your audience it means suddenly you close everything you close their feelings you close their idea and they start hating you or they start changing their ideas or revulsion nearly close something yes it means it becomes opposite actually for example you say uh mm, my best friend wanted to make a surprise for me and she was so happy, but I started crying and she was turned off. So it means that I changed her mood and I changed her feelings toward me. She was so happy and suddenly she became sad. 
So basically it means to cause to full dislike or revulsion. Next one, it sounds like I have a big head. What does it mean? I have a big head. What does it mean? Have a big head. Um, teacher, yeah. can I say it? Sure. Uh, someone who more important or clever? Well, actually, you know. A team think more important? Well, it's not about being important or uh, being so good. It means that person thinks that she or he is so good. Or, for example, we can say being so proud of yourself. Selfish, but not selfish, actually. We can say the person is really proud of himself or herself. Huge goal. Melek, no, it's not huge goal. Here, big head, we generally tell, for example, you, you've got a big head or... Um, I don't know, she has got big head. It means that she's not so good, but she's so proud of herself. So basically we say arrogant. Arrogant is the best uh, synonym for that. Arrogant, big head, or being uh, so proud of yourself. Uh, next one, it's a what? I'll, I'll say. What does it mean? I'll say. I will say that. Any idea? I can explain. No, it's not about explanation, Nihan. It's a little bit different. Like, I'll say. You say, for example, uh, do you think I'm so selfish? I said, I'll say. It means? Exactly. Yes, Nora, you are right. Exactly. Not tell something. It means I'll say, it means I agree. Definitely, yes. Yes, of course. I'll say. Because it's not a normal vocabulary. It, it doesn't mean I'm going to say something or I will say. Here it means yes, definitely. Okay, guys. So, um, and let me just check the different things here. Uh, also, I, the thing I want to say is that I also put some idioms regularly on my Instagram. So if you are interested in learning different kind of audios, and uh, the, sometimes I put audios, also idioms, also some vocabularies and some tips for IELTS TOEFL exam. So if you are interested, you can follow my Instagram and find those idioms, try to use them, read the meaning and examples of them. And still we have some minutes. So if you have any question, I can answer your questions. Or if you want to say something, I'm here to hear. Yes, Elif, is there something? I think Elif had a question or I understood frankly. Is there any question? Is there, if there is any general question I can answer about different things. Nurai said, thank you. You're welcome. Always. So, you're welcome, Fatih. Well, if there is no question, I say happy Saturday to all of you. And I wish you a good day. A per person say something. Call over internet. Sorry, I cannot understand that that much Turkish. Is there any suggestion for webinars about ELT? You mean IELTS? I didn't understand it. Can you explain it a bit more, Nihan? Or if you can open your microphone, you can start speaking. In that case, I can understand you much better. Uh, sorry, teacher. <laughs> um, 
yeah. sorry, I want to ask you, I'm really appreciate with you. Thank you so much for your efforts. I want to ask a question about, uh, you are not Turkish person, if I understood true, but I want to ask a question about English language teachers. Uh, do you have any suggestion about webinars or IELTS programs? Do you know any uh, webinars programs uh, in your uh, program uh, or in your website? Do you have any information I want to ask you? Well, you can check my website. Well, I, not website. I can say uh, you can check my Instagram. Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not Turkish, uh, so that's why I cannot understand Turkish very yeah. well. Yeah. Uh, but I can understand basic things. Uh, there are some information about IELTS exam that you can find mm -hmm. about yeah. writing, listening, the general things that you need or the general information you need for taking your exam. But if you have any question, like except those kind of information, you can write me. And of course I can answer them all and I can help you to get the information you need. Thank you so much, teacher. Have a good You're day, welcome. thank you. Thank you. Okay, is there any other question? There are 29 people here so far. Is there anything you want to ask? So uh, I'm going to close the session and if there is any question, of course you can write me. I wrote my Instagram for you and you can write there, I can explain different kind of things about the exams or any other question you have. And a happy Saturday to all of you and take care of yourself. Bye.